So hello there and welcome uh, to a new video on the Virtual Airline Pilot channel. Today then, a little bit different, um, currently in PFPX, Professional Flight Planner and um, new for 2017 I guess, uh, looking to do full flight videos and what I've decided is instead of doing one long video um, consisting of all the various stages of uh, the flight, I'm now going to split them up into different sections. So there'll be a pre-flight stage where we'll look at the route, the weather, uh, any NOTAMs and then following that there'll be another video which will be the uh, pre-flight on the aircraft, the departure up to the cruise and then the final video will be the top of descent approach, landing, taxiing and shutdown. So the idea is that these all live in a playlist for each flight and then you can pick and choose what you want to check out so it's entirely up to you and uh, just a bit more kind of expansive in terms of what I cover Okay, so uh, today then, um, this is Ryanair Flight 7403, callsign uh, Ryanair 48 Juliet Juliet from Copenhagen to London Luton. This is the route today, so I've just moved over here, taking off and flying to the west, flying over Denmark, over the top of the Netherlands, over Amsterdam, and now out across the channel and towards Luton. So let's grab the flight plan and um, yeah if you use PFPX or uh, Simbrief you'll be familiar with this. Not going to go into too much detail today, just going to pick out some kind of key bits about this flight and then over time um, I'm sure that I'll in increase the, the kind of detail I go into but this is just to give you an overview of the flight. So um, We've looked at the route there, uh, going to be cruising at an altitude of 38,000 feet, taking 136 passengers today. And uh, fuel figure wise, be looking to take at least six tons of fuel. Now what is worth looking at first of all is the weather. So we're in December and the weather is not particularly great in Northern Europe at the moment. So um, let's just jump over to that first. So this is the Meta for um, our departure point, our destination, and some alternates that I've selected as well. So um, at Copenhagen then, uh, it, it's not too bad. There's relatively good visibility, some low clouds, uh, temperature's six degrees, dew point's five, so you need to keep an eye on that in terms of visibility. Um, as those two temperatures meet, there could be potential for uh, mist and fog, which can be seen here actually. So uh, that's expected between 1,400 and 23 hundred hours today so that does fit into the time bracket we're going to be looking to depart so we're keeping an eye on that checking ATIS when we get down to the aircraft now Luton is very different um, in fact it's a lot worse so looking at the current meta for there uh, wind speeds fine nothing to worry about there visibility is 150 um, meters so the RVR, the runway visual range for runway 26, which is in use at the moment, um, is 325. So there's fog and it is uh, quite dense fog. Now at the moment it is um, you know, more or less kind of cat three conditions or it, or it could be very soon. So um, in this instance, in the real world, there would potentially be an ATC delay and you might even consider not doing the flight at all. This is the flight simulation world, and I think it'd be interesting to head down to um, Luton, see what happens. You never know, we could be ending up to uh, do a, a Cat 3 approach. Just looking ahead then at the uh, the TAF, uh, so 1200 to 1500 today, visibility, so we're, we're almost out, well, we're outside of this window, so the visibility was not too bad. And then 15 to 2400 hours today, so this is the bracket we're in now. The probability 30 percent of 100 sorry 1000 meters uh, visibility broken cloud at 100 feet so this is pretty bad weather and that could pose some problems for the approach and landing at Luton 
So, looking at alternates then, um, selected Stansted, Birmingham and Gatwick. Just going to um, rattle through these. So, um, Stansted, kind of much of the same in terms of um, weather. If we just zoom in here, you can see they're not too far apart. There's Stansted there and there's Luton there. So, we're looking at 4,000 metres visible, uh, visibility, uh, mist, uh, no cloud detected, NCD there. And the temperature and dew point are close together so that's why the weather's like this and uh, looking ahead again there is potential for um, quite bad visibility so just something that needs to be aware of and that's why I selected Birmingham as another alternate so a little bit further away but in the event that um, a landing is not possible at Luton then perhaps we'll head off to Birmingham and finally the uh, other alternate is Gatwick so at the moment there's uh, there's no significant cloud there visibility is not too bad in fact I live next door to Gatwick and looking out the window now it's uh, there's a bit of a uh, bit of haze in the uh, in the distance but um, not too bad so this could be a potential as well and th it would really be down to uh, where's the safest place to land and also operationally um, where would be a good place to land as well so they're all potentials so that's the weather um, let's have a look for the en route weather as well because that's a kind of consideration so we're cruising at flight level 380 38,000 feet if I just turn on the uh, wind toggle there so you can see uh, let's just quickly grab the flight plan so we expect to be at cruising altitude between Bravo Delta Romeo Uniform, sorry Yankee and Lisboo. So that would be about here. So if we go flight level 400 and just hit play, you can see there's the wind is we're gonna have a crosswind and it is moving, so there'll be perhaps a tail a uh, headwind component as well. Just move down to flight level 350 and it's more or less the same with lighter winds but nothing too bad uh, let's have a look at the turbulence as well so okay well the first part of the route then so I just didn't check the the wind for the whole of the route there Okay, it's relatively light. It's not going to pose too many problems in terms of um, headwinds. It's always good to check. So back to that wind and turbulence then. Let's start at flight level 350. So you can see there's an area of light turbulence over the top of the Netherlands that will affect our route. That's just something to be aware of. And if I go up to flight level 400, you can see that turbulent uh, wind is uh, so that turbulent area is larger which is going to affect a lot more of the route so just something to be kind of aware of for this trip uh, if you just zoom out you can see other parts of the world where it's yellow there's a lot heavier turbulence and you can see these wind speeds are a lot higher the depiction here is um, the the kind of big triangles of 50 knots and the kind of dashes or the line next to it is is 10 so you've got 110 knot um, if we were flying that way a headwind so just something you need to be aware of if you're flying over the Atlantic that would be um, that would be a, a definitely a consideration you can see there's some really heavy winds out here anyway we digress let's go back to our route so nowhere near as uh, high winds as that so in terms of on route weather I'm pretty happy with that not really too much to look out for when we get into the cruise um, just if you were in the real world you know you're encouraging passengers to keep their seatbelt on but nothing to worry about too much today I think the main thing to worry about is the uh, weather dropping at uh, Luton okay so that's it for weather and let's just grab a look at the no terms this would be another thing you would look at each flight and not really going to go into a lot of detail because some of this wouldn't be relevant in terms of um, what's simulated in prepared or FSX or X-Plane whatever you're flying in but I just wanted to kind of pick out something that was 
especially important to today, which is this one here. So this is the destination we're going to, Luton, and you can see this note amp here, ILS runway 0826 downgraded to CAT 3A only, no rollout guidance. What that means is, is in a CAT 3 landing, um, equipment wise, you have the ability for the autopilot to control the whole landing and then the rollout stage is when the aircraft touches down, the nose wheel goes down and uses the localizer to keep on the center line and roll out. There's no rollout roll out guidance. So if we were doing a CAT3 landing, then that would be a consideration and it would be a, that'd be a, a manual process from the, from the pilot. But uh, hopefully that won't affect us today and we'll be able to get down without a full CAT3 landing. We shall see. Uh, other than that, um, I mean, there are quite a few NOTAMs here and I've had a look through some of them, but um, I think for this flight today, uh, I'm not going to kind of pick out any other ones. They're mainly to do with things like taxiways closed or gate changes, um, things that wouldn't be simulated in uh, the flight simulator I'm flying. So that is it then for the pre-flight briefing. I think it's time to head down to the aircraft. So um, meet you down there. And if you want to click the link um, in the end card, that'll take you to the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for flying with the virtual airline pilot today. We ask that you remain seated, press the subscribe button and keep your seatbelt fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop. Should you wish to leave a message, a comment box is provided below. We wish you a safe onward journey.